Hi everyone and welcome to Studio de Sol. My name is Lina and in today's video I want to show you how I created this beaded brooch. Here is everything that I'm going to be using in today's tutorial. I'm going to be using the felt as a base for the brooch, also some of the artificial leather and tulle. Also some firm wire, transparent thread and needles. To decorate the brooch, I'm going to be using different kinds of rhinestones and beads. I wasn't able to find the felt in a color that I needed, so I bought the white felt and just colored that using the acrylic paint and let it dry completely. My brooch is gonna consist of different parts and I'm starting with the body part. And the body part I'm gonna be doing in the blue color. To attach the rhinestones and the beads, I'm gonna be using the translucent thread. It's almost like the fishing wire, just way, way thinner. I'm making the double thread and also to secure it, I'm adding on a few nuts at the end of the thread. Then I start touching the rhinestones. I'm going over a few times to for sure secure it on its spot. When I'm attaching the rhinestone, I'm all the time checking the strain of the thread to make sure that I'm touching it properly. And when I fix the big rhinestone on its spot, I start attaching smaller beads around it. On the top of my big rhinestone, I decided to add a smaller rhinestone. After I attach the smaller rhinestone, I start attaching smaller beads around it. I'm grabbing two beads and secure them on a spot, then going in between two, then putting the needle through the second bead and grabbing two more beads, then again fixing them on a spot then going in between two beads and pulling the needle through the second one and grabbing two more beads. And I'm doing the same procedure around the big rhinestone. It's gonna help to secure the beads on its spot and also it's gonna help to create the even circle around the big rhinestone. Here how it looks like so far and I keep attaching the beads. After I attach the beads around the big rhinestone, I start attaching a smaller rhinestone on the top part to create the longer body for the bug. After I attach the smaller rhinestone, I have a little gaps in between the beads and the rhinestone and I'm filling those in with even smaller size of the beads. And here's how the body for the bug is look like. Now I'm putting this on the side. And I start working on the wings for the bug. I'm gonna have two sets of the wings. And what I'm doing first is creating the base using the firm metal wire. I'm cutting out the same length pieces. After that, I start making the shapes for the wings. For that, I'm going to be using the bottle of the nail polish. So I'm wrapping the wire around and just tighten it on the side. And 
and after that I'm just removing this from the bottle here how it looks like and I doing the same procedure with the last three wire pieces Here are the two sets of wings. Now I'm just narrowing the edge a little bit. And now it's time to attach our metal bases to the towel. I'm applying a little bit of the super glue on the top of the metal wire and attaching that to the fabric. I'm gluing all four pieces to the fabric on the back side. After that, I'm adding a little bit more glue on the top part and applying another layer on the top and making sure that everything is glued. If you don't want to use the super glue here, you can use the glue gun and just add on a few little drops on the top and the bottom to secure the fabric but make sure that it's not a lot because if you put too much glue it's going to be visible through the fabric after the tool is glued to the metal i start trimming all of the wings i'm also leaving like one or two millimeters of tool on the edges And to make the edges of the wings nice and pretty, I'm gonna be going around with the smaller size beads. I again did the double thread with the knot at the end. To secure the thread, I'm making a little knot in the bottom of our wing. I'm going through the fabric on the wing and then leaving the end of the thread with the knot going over and it's creating like a little loop and I'm tightening that loop. Then going around again with the thread and making another loop. Now when the thread is secured, I'm grabbing one bead and going from the front side of the wing to the back. Then going around the wire and going from the back side back into the bead. I end up having the thread going from the center of the bead. Now from there I'm going and grabbing another bead and again going from the front side of the wing to the back with the thread going around the metal wire and going back into the back side of the bead to the front. So all of the beads that I'm attaching, they kind of laying on the side and facing with the hole outwards. And I keep doing that all around our wing. When I went around the entire wing, it's time to secure the thread again. 
So I'm finding a little spot that I create the knot again. So I'm going around the wire, then leaving a little like loop on the side, going through that loop and tighten it and doing that a few more times. Then I'm just cutting out the axis of the thread and here's how the wings look like. And as I mentioned before, I have two sets of the wings. So the first one I did with the blue beads and the second one I'm doing with the yellow beads and I'm doing the same procedure. First I'm securing the thread on a metal wire, doing a few knots there then grabbing the bead going from the front side of the wing to the back then going around the wire and coming back through the back side of the bead to the front Here are my two sets of wings and now I'm going to decorate the blue wings using some sequins. So I did the double thread again with the knot and the end. I'm again fixing the thread on the bottom of the wing and start attaching the sequin one by one. When I attach the first sequin to the fabric, I'm doing the further step from it, then coming back in the bottom next to it and attaching one on top. So I'm kind of layering up the sequins on top of each other. And I'm not going to be covering the entire wing with the sequins, I'm just going to be covering the edge. So after this one, I'm adding a few rows on the sides. After that, I start decorating the yellow wings. And for that, I'm going to be using the variety of different beads in the different sizes and colors. And I'm just going to do like a little mix and match and attach them together.
in a spots in between the larger beads I'm adding the smaller sizes just to make sure that I don't have a big empty gaps in between the beads I'm leaving the edge of the wing without the beads, just adding a few tiny little beads strings. And here are how two sets of wings are looking like. Now it's time to attach them to the body. So I'm cutting out the body part from our felt and leaving a little bit of the edges on the side. Then I'm attaching the wings just to see how I want them to be attached. And then I'm applying a hot glue and gluing the wings to the base, to the bottom of the base. And after I apply the glue, I'm pressing all of the parts together and making sure that the glue is cooling down under the pressure. Also here, my glue got stuck with the table, so I had to remove that with the blade. And then I'm cutting off an axis of the glue. Now I need to create some paws for our bug. For that I'm going to be using some pins and just attach a few different beads to them. Then I'm cutting off the axis on the edge and bending the edges a little bit. Now using another piece of felt, I'm going to be adding the head for our bug. So now I'm just doing a little draft and cutting it out. Thank you. 
And after that, I'm adding the hot glue on the yellow bottom base and attaching our body on top of it. And when everything is glued together, I'm just measuring what rhinestones I can place to create the head. Also here, I don't know if you noticed, I changed the bottom felt that we created the shape for the body and the head. So I didn't like how the yellow one looked like. So I just deattached that and glued the same white felt and start attaching the rhinestones. And now I start creating the base for the brooch. For that I'm going to be using the safe pin. Then I already cut out the same size, same shape, um, body, the bottom part on the, the fake leather piece. And also I have a little tiny piece of paper just to help to harden the base. Then I'm marking the holes that I need to make in the leather and in the paper piece. Using the craft knife, I'm just cutting through. Then I'm attaching the pin, just making sure that everything it fits. And after that, using the glue gun, I'm adding a little bit of glue in the middle in between the three layers, like the metal pin, then the paper and the leather. And now the base is ready and it's time to attach all of the parts together. So first I'm going to be attaching the paws, arms and legs to the body. And I'm doing that using the glue gun. And first I'm attaching the upper paws and then the bottom. And when everything is attached, it's time to glue our brooch with the base. I'm adding the glue in the center of the brooch and just adding on the base and making sure that it's all stuck together, I'm keeping and holding the piece until I feel that the glue is cooled down. Thank you. 
And after the glue is cooled down, you see we have all those edges of three layers of fabric that we have. And I'm just trimming them. And after I trim all of the layers, I also color that uh, white edges using some blue marker. And after that, I'm just gonna work on the edges like we were doing with the wings. Just using the blue beads on the bottom and yellow on the head part. I'm going over the entire brooch. Here's how the edge is looking like. And here's how the final brooch looks like. Here's how it looks on the bottom and at the top. And this is it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Share with me in the comments below if you like this tutorial. Also, if you try to recreate that brooch, I would be really happy to see your results and you can share that with me here on or on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching again and we see each other in the next video.